Okay, in this question, we need to explain why it is that an increase in the marginal propensity to consume increases the equilibrium level of income and output in the model, in, uh, in the economy here. And there's different ways to explain this. We can use the equilibrium equation here, the formula for equilibrium income, which says it's the multiplier times uh, autonomous spending. And since the marginal propensity to consume influences the value of the multiplier, that is where the explanation will be. Now I'm going to make some assumptions. Let's assume that autonomous spending is 100 in the economy and the mar and, uh, margin propensity to consume is 0 0.8. In other words, the multiplier will be 1 over 1 minus 0 0.8 equals 5. To get an equilibrium income, for this example, it's 5 times 100, it's 500. What happens when there's an increase in the uh, marginal propensity to consume? Then the value of the multiplier will change. It will now be, let's say it goes to 0 0.9. It will be 1 over 1 minus 0 0.9, and that will be equal to 10. And equilibrium will be equal to 10 times 100 will be equal to 1,000. So there's our increase in the level of income and output. In other words, a change in the marginal propensity to consume changes the value of the multiplier and therefore changes the value of the level of output and income, the equilibrium level of output and income. We can also explain this using a diagram. And this is our goods market model, where we have the demand for goods and the level of output. Our 45 degree line and there is our demand for goods. And what we say is the equilibrium income is with the demand for goods equals the level of output and income. Using this example here, we say this is our autonomous spending of 100. We know the multiplier is 5. Therefore, our equilibrium income is 500. The slope of the line is determined by the marginal propensity to consume, 1, 0 0.8. What happens in this model when there's an increase in the marginal propensity to consume? Then it changes the slope of the curve. Autonomous spending stays the same. We have a new demand curve. This is our slope, 1, 0 0.9. And as you can see, we have a higher equilibrium level of income. In this case, it is 100 times 10. The value of the multiplier is 1,000. And there we have our increase in the level of output and income as the margin propensity to consume increases. Now, what's the economics behind this? Well, we look at the consumption function, where we say it's all to do with the way households behave. Consumption function says Consumption equals autonomous consumption plus small c output. And that's an increase in income increases consumption. By how much consumption increases depends on the marginal propensity to consume. So the higher the marginal propensity to consume, the higher is the increase in consumption for a given increase in output. I'm going to draw the circular flow diagram, a very simple one. Explain this. Here's the firm. Is our households. Firms buy households an income of 100. Households then use that income to buy goods and services, consumer goods and services. And if it is the marginal property to consume is 0 0.8, we will say consumption will increase initially with 80. And the multiplier process will operate from that basis. Now, if the marginal propensity changes to 0 0.9, for this increase of 100, in income, the increase here will be 90 and not 80. So the initial effect is much higher when you have a higher marginal propensity to consume. And the, the multiplier will have a bigger impact on the level of output and income since it is a higher multiplier. 